Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you are fine and healthy. I'm here to take your English class. But in today's class, I will teach you any new lesson. Instead of, I will take your revision class. Whatever you have learned in English class, today I will take you the revision of these topics. Let's move towards the board. The students look at board. You have learned lesson number one, holding up the sky. Lesson number two, do the boys hold. Lesson number six, Uncle Kojo hangs a picture. Lesson number four, weather forecasting. Lesson number 16, the lost world of Atlantis. Lesson number 19, a narrow escape. Lesson number 22, the first man in space. Lesson number 25, Saladin. I taught you these lessons in your English class. So, we have given you the vocabulary meaning, phrases, idioms meaning. So, you have to learn these vocabulary meanings and phrases, idioms. Okay, beta? Why? Because you have to write a story with the help of these phrases, idioms and vocabulary meaning. Let's move towards the next work. Next work is about grammar exercises, which you have done in your grammar copy. You have done exercises from page number 4, 5, 6, 12 and page number 13. Which exercises you have solved here? You have done exercises about countable and uncountable noun, that is suffixes and adjectives. You have done different exercises which is related about these topics. For example, you have done exercise add countable and uncountable noun in the exercise. You have to add suffixes and proper adjective. Next exercise from page number 36, 37. What you have done in these exercise? You have done question words. That is, you have to add question words to complete the sentences. So, what is question word? That is WH word. Like what? Where? Who? How? And so on. You have to complete these exercises by adding WH word. Let's move towards the next page number 84, 85, 94, 95. In these exercises, which is present in these pages, you have to use preposition to complete the sentences and joining words and add suitable forms of verb. Clear beta? Let's come towards the next pages. Now, the exercise from the page number 110 and 111. You have to complete in this exercise, you have to complete the sentences by adding the adverb clauses. Right, Vita? Now, move towards the page number 128, 129 and 130. In these page numbers, the exercise is related to infinitives. By the use of infinitives, you have completed these exercises. Let's move towards the next exercise from page number 141. 142, 143, 146, and 148. What topics and which type of exercises in these pages? You have to add gerund, add adjective clauses. And in my previous lessons, beta, I have explained in detail the types of gerund, each and everything. So, you have understood this. Now, you have to do these exercises again as a revision work. Okay, beta? Let's come towards the next topic. Next work is letter. You have done four letters. 
So you do practice and I told you about the format of letter as well. Letter will be started from the left hand side. Each and everything will be present on left hand side. Okay, Vita? Now the next work is related to translation. In very detail, our tenses I taught you and have given you a different paragraph to translate into English. And you have done yourself. So do practice according to the tenses, then you can easily translate the paragraph. Okay, Vita? Now, let's see composition. You have done composition from different pages. Page number 51, topic is ghost story. You have written a ghost story. Page number 137, a wedding. Page number 38, game. Which game you have written here? Which game? Which game you have uh, liked too much? So you have to write paragraph, one paragraph about that game. Which do you like? Okay? Next topic about composition from page number 85, marketplace. And next from page number 54, your father's or uncle's work. You have to compose here what are the, your, what are your father's work or uncle's work. Any one topic you have to write here. Next, now the text section and the grammar section is completed here. Let's move towards the poem section. You have learned these two poems, Flower versus Thorn. Very interesting poem you have learned here. And the next, there does exist a God. From these uh, poems, you have done all exercises and uh, rhyming words as well. Okay, Vita? So, the revision, whatever you have done in your English classes is completed here. I hope you got these points. Now, Vita, you have to do well practice of these work. Okay? Thank you and Allah Hafiz.